Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and it is time for the Gnome Dyes Hair Add-ons assembly video. Hey, so I'm using the Gnome Dyes Hair Add-ons along with our Girl Gnome Dyes and our Gnome Dyes Extra Parts too. I'm also using Doodle Bugs Gingerbread Kisses 6 inch pad. Super cute patterns for Christmas. And I'm using P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones. So I start out with some base layers of the gnomes, just cut from whatever color you want. I think this was Smoky Shadow cardstock, but but it doesn't matter. This pattern dress is from the Doodlebug Gingerbread Kisses six inch pad. All the pattern papers are um, in these little, um, little girl gnomes. Now I'm layering the face over the dress. Remember we start with the dress. Then I'm going to add the hat that will cover the face a little bit. So there we go, I glued that down with Nouveau glue. Reverse tweezers, working on my Stampin' Up! pad. There we go. You want it really stuck down well. Now I'm using um, American Crafts Yellow Cardstock. I'm going to make her a blonde. So first you wanna add on your back layer. So I'm just going to add some glue to the back of my gnome, and I'm going to add the back of her hair on. You know, just trying to line things up, get it even. There we go. So she's got flowing hair in the back. I'm going to make sure it's glued down well with my Nouveau glue. There we go. So cute, right? And then I will add on my two little tendrils that kind of come down from the hat. Remember, they line up perfectly with the edge of the hat. So I'm just using a little bit of glue. And there you have the little tendrils. Isn't that sweet? So she's got long hair under that gnome hat. Then I will pop up her little nose with some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. That's P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones. Remember, remember that Jada Blossom sells that pad now. There we go. Isn't that cute? Now there are two little pigtails that you can add to her hat. Isn't that the sweetest? So I'm just putting some glue on the little tips of, this, of these little pigtails. There we go. And I'm going to add one more on the other side. Isn't that cute? And I'm going to give her a couple of little red bows. That's cut from Pure Poppy cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. Using my Studio Catty embellishment wand. Remember, any, any embellishment wand will do. Helps to pick up small things. Now I'm going to pop up her little feet with some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. And there you go. That's that same um, P13 stamping pad skin tones. So here she is. Isn't she cute? Next, I'm going to put together another one, same Doodlebug um, Gingerbread Kisses 6-inch pad, adding a little pink dress first. Remember, you always start with the dress on the girls, the hat with the boys. I'm going to layer her little face over the dress, then I will add the hat on. And remember, that covers the face a little bit. There we go. Isn't that a cute pattern with the poinsettias? Just too cute. I do weight it down. Now I've got this really curly hair and that lines up with the bottom of the hat as well. And that's um, Paper Tray Ink Dark Chocolate Cardstock. I'm making her a cute little brunette. Isn't that cute? There we go. I love that we've got new hairstyles for these gnomes, right? So cute. She's just adorable. Now I'm going to pop up her little nose with miniature uh, Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. There we go, I'm working on that Stampin' Up! pad as per usual. And there we go. Isn't she sweet? And then I do pop her little feet up again with Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. There we go, that's that P13 Stamping Pad Skin Tones. You could have used the shoes as well, but I love the bare feet. Okay, next I'm going to put together the last hairdo. So I've got her little dress cut of that same Gingerbread Kisses 6 inch pad. She's got a plaid dress. Then I will add the little face again, sort of covering the dress a little bit. Easy stuff, right? Then this super cute little Santa hat, like so it's got little Santas all over it. And that will overlap the face again. Isn't that a cute little outfit? Just so cute. And then you've got some really long Rapunzel brunette braids. And that was cut from that paper tray ink dark chocolate cardstock as well. So there we go. Isn't that sweet? It's just the cutest thing. 
So I add a little bit of glue just to the tops of her braids and it lines up with the bottom of her hat perfectly, right? Isn't that cute? Now I will pop up her nose again with Stampin' Up Dimensionals, the miniature ones. I find that the nose fits two little miniature Stampin' Up Dimensionals or one of the big ones cut in half. There we are. Now I'm going to add um, her little feet next and it, that also helps to anchor down the braids a bit. There we go. And then lastly, I will add a couple of pure poppy bows from Paper Tray Ink for her little hair bows. Because you know, why not, right? How cute is that? Using my Studio Cat embellishment wand to pick them up. Just makes it easy for me. And there you have it. Almost done. Got to add that in place. And then I will have three new gnome girls with great hair. Isn't that cute? So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, Be Inspired by the Team, the Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. You just got to love the gnomes, right? You got to add on to that collection of yours. You can make these gnomes look like people in your house with all these hairdos. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.